Hello, good morning to everyone. Welcome to Tech Easy. Today, in this video, we'll see how you can fix the issue hardware virtualization must be turned on for the Google Play Games beta to work properly. This error, see here, Google Play Games beta I have installed on my computer. So, while I do this video, like tutorial video, I received many comments asking me something like, they are getting this hardware virtualization must be turned on error or issue. This error may be occurred when you try to install another OS on the same laptop. See, my laptop currently is Windows 11 and this is the Lenovo laptop. See, when I check uh, my task manager and the performance, virtualization, hardware virtualization is by default enabled. So, I'll tell you the official documentation from the Microsoft here. See here. See, this is the official documentation. See here, support.microsoft.com and they are telling two steps actually. One is directly with the Windows option and second is the BIOS step. We'll discuss step by step, one by one. First, we'll go with the default available Windows options. See here. Uh, they are telling something like under start we need to search as windows features see here first of all i'll show you on my computer when i click on the performance here by default this virtualization is already enabled for me for most of the lenovo laptops or windows 11 version this option is enabled if it is disabled uh, do two steps the first step i'm showing you need to search windows features then open turn on windows features on and off and i need to enable this particular option and the restart my pc okay i will do that quickly later we'll see how you can do it on bios uh, option uh, i'll just search as turn off turn windows features on and off see here this is the option i need to double click on this when it's open, I need to turn on this virtual machine platform. If it is disabled, I need to enable it. So let us check once it is loaded. It may take like uh, 10 to 15 seconds. So I'll just maximize this. Yeah. See here by default, this option is disabled means not enabled. I just enabled it. I just click on OK. Now, once you click on OK, you need to restart the computer. So once this process is completed, you need to restart your computer. Anyway, this will ask you to restart the machine. Yeah, the second part is through BIOS section. See here. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll drop this link in the description below for you the documentation. For example, if your computer is Acer, you need to open this particular web page. See here for the Acer uh, laptops. And it is saying that you need to power off means hold the power button for 5 seconds until your computer completely powers off. Okay, this is the first step. Then continuously you need to press on F2 to enter into the BIOS mode. So you will see BIOS mode here under advanced you will see something like Intel VTX, Intel VTD. You both need to enable this. This is what it is saying. Enable both Intel VTX and Intel VTD settings then you need to press ctrl s keys or f10 to save it this is on the acer laptops and then uh, see here the amd processors the same but here you need to enable these two amd svm and this one and same f10 to save and exit so once you exit and restart your computer then you need to check by right clicking on this here right clicking and click on taskbar manager then click on performance and see whether it is enabled or not and coming back next it is for osis how to enable and disable uh, amd virtualization technology see just uh, i'll drop this link in the description for uh, osis you need to just go through this particular uh, web page and because see here when you enter into the bio setup by just pressing the power for power button for few seconds then continuously press f2 you will enter this bios mode and under advanced in the svm mode you need to enable this with the pictures there is detailed uh, thing here and you no need to touch any other option because 
if you touch if you change any other option your computer may not load up so you need to make a caution or you can take to your nearest uh, uh, hardware shop or something like that to enable this option better you do that see here according to the manufacturer they have provided the uh, details here so i'll drop the link in the description because i only have lenovo laptop that's the reason i am unable to show you if it is your dell you need to just go through this step first you need to enter into the bios mode then uh, follow the steps whichever the manufacturer uh, instructions means it differs from manufacturer to manufacturer see here here also power on your system press f2 then go to virtualization setting under advanced you need to go to virtualization or virtualization support then virtualization then you need to enable this is for the dell and save and exit the system reboots normally see here whichever you fall under uh, which manufacturer see for lenovo this is the lenovo for most of the lenovo laptops this option is already enabled and for most and for all the microsoft surface devices virtualization is already enabled so yeah if you do have any other questions please do ask in the comments so i'll happy to help you and thanks for watching have a nice day